We are in the midst of the holiday season. It is nearing an end, but it's a time for celebration and family gatherings, which can sometimes come with a bit of conflict. But there seems to be a growing trend across America where conservative parents and grandparents are being shut out of festivities by their children who hold opposing political views. It's becoming so common that our next guest recently wrote about it in a piece called Why Many Conservatives Won't Be With Their Children or Grandchildren This Christmas. Joining me now is syndicated radio talk show host, columnist and the co-founder of Prager U, Dennis Prager. Dennis, welcome back to the show. Always good to see you. Hope that you had a wonderful Christmas season. You know, it's interesting because I think about it. I, I am blessed with a great family. When I go home, it's amazing. But so many people have that one person that they're not looking forward to seeing that's going to be so political at the dinner table, whatever it may be. But it seems like we have hit a new level of contention where people don't even want to talk to each other. And now they're not even letting their family members see their children or be around them. How did we get here? Vulcan uh, crisis of epidemic proportions. This, this, this epidemic bothers me more than COVID. The number of left-wing children who will not speak to conservative parents m might well be a million, uh, maybe more, maybe a little less, but it is massive. And the they boast that they will not let their parents who voted for Donald Trump or who are simply a Republican see them or their grandchildren. And my verification about how ubiquitous this is came after the publication of the piece you just showed, because it went on many conservative media. The left wing picked it up and left wing sites said, good for them. If you look at that American greatness piece, there are about a thousand comments and about 400 of them are from people on the left basically saying, goody, those parents deserve it. If they voted for Donald Trump or they're a Republican, they're killing people. Why would you want your children, that is their grandchildren, to be exposed to such evil? That is the general belief on the left, not among liberals. Liberals just vote for the left, but they're not the same as left. But among the left, the general idea is screw the parents. Or as I wrote in my column, they believe in abusing parents, not abusing the earth. You know, it's fascinating because it seems like politics has really moved from being just, you know, someone has these views to becoming someone's identity. It's almost seen as a religion of sorts. If you, you know, people on the left see conservatives as wicked, terrible people, and sometimes conservatives do that to the left as well. We've come to this such polarizing view of people that if I don't have the same view as you, then you're wicked. And to your point, people responded to your column saying, great for these people not seeking reconciliation. Why are we there where people are happy? It's like they're happy that there's this division. They're not saying, hey, we should find a way to work around this or some well, solution. Let me, let me be clear. I don't believe that it's symmetric. Uh, I, I, I say yeah. public, no. And I'll say publicly, as I have said on my radio show and written, if anybody knows a conservative child, adult child, obviously, who will not visit left-wing parents or will not allow those parents to see their conservative grandchildren, they are as despicable to me as a leftist who does it. However, I have never heard of such an instance. We're not visiting grandpa because he voted for Biden. It is inconceivable to me that that exists in more than five homes in, 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 in America. <laughs> so it's not symmetric. They hate us. We hate them for hating us, but we don't hate them. You want to have an opinion? Have an opinion. But, and, and we believe that. But mm. their, their view is exactly what you described. They are religious fanatics, but their religions are secular religions. Environmentalism, feminism, you, they're, they're, these are secular religions. Uh, uh, or as G.K. Chesterton, it, it, the quote is attributed to him from the late 19th century, when people stop believing in God, 
They don't believe in nothing. They believe in anything. And the proof is they believe men give birth. They really believe it. I mean, and if you don't believe that men give birth, if you don't say it publicly, then you are considered a hater. It is it is a yeah, an Orwellian problem, world right? that Orwell could not have imagined. Right. It's like if you don't agree with her ideology, then all of a sudden you are a wicked. It's not a wicked person. We can't just disagree and walk away. Now right. you are a bigot or a racist or whatever they want to call you. It is really sad to see this breakdown um, that's happening in our country. Unfortunately, we're out of time, but it's good to see you tonight, Dennis Prager. Happy Thank New Year to here. you. Thank you.